everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to show you how you can store applications on the RAM of your Galaxy S20 series. Now, if you have applications you use multiple times a day, you want it to open and load faster, this is all you have to do. So open up that application in question. So let's say Instagram. So this one takes a little bit of time for it to load. And then maybe even let's say we take a look at Twitter. This one also takes a little bit of time to load. And in order for you to have it stored on the RAM, just go inside of your recent application menu just by hitting on your recent apps. Or if you have the gestures, swipe up and hold. Once you're inside the screen for recent applications, head over to that application you would like to store on the RAM and tap on the icon. This is where you click on keep open for quick launching. And then once you tap on that one, you're able to do it to three different applications to store it on the RAM. Now, I do have to say that this one is a AT&T model. Uh, so you, if you have unlocked, you might have the ability to do more. Now, once you have your three or five different applications that is locked and able to be able to be kept for a fast opening later on, all the other applications, let's say that you hit on your recent applications, click on close all. Once you go right on back, you'd be able to go inside of these applications super fast. Uh, and it's really just saving the data. It's keeping all of the RAM just sitting right there. And then if you ever need to just have the application reload just go to the very top uh, it's just a way that you're able to go right back inside and use it extremely quick also if you're somebody who uses your camera all the time let's say that we move over to youtube once you're done with that application tap on that little lock icon uh, and maybe let's say that you use your camera all the time and you love using single take so this is a way that you'd be able to just get out of the application you'd be able to have this one uh, stay open for quick launching and then anytime that you really you know basically close out of anything and everything the moment you go back inside your camera you can be right back on that camera shooting mode it's there it's quick you'll be able to take your picture and you're done so if you're at an event if you're at a soccer game if you're at a football game whatever the case this is one of the nice things you're able to do inside the camera now there is one thing i also do want to show you now if you are using let's say good lock so good lock is a way that you're able to basically change that launcher of your task changer and you're actually able to have more being stored there so this is the reason why i feel that if you have unlocked you might have a little bit more capabilities so you'd be able to store at least five with the task changer inside of good lock uh, i know that you're able to you know for a fact use i mean as many applications as you want so i'm just kind of going through opening up a few uh, applications here so i'm gonna open up that application so now that we have a ton of applications that is opened inside of good lock all you'd have to do is tap again on that icon and go to lock this app and then you're going to have a little lock icon so you're really doing the exact same thing as before it just kind of like if you think of it as a launcher it's a different task changer it's going to look a little bit different you, it gives you a little bit more capability so you can see i already have let's see i got four i got five six right there um, so actually I did this just a little bit ago and I was able to go easily all the way up to 10 and I didn't really need to open any more than that I didn't really know exactly you know the the highest number you can go but honestly having 10 of them being locked that's kind of overkill but you're you are able to do that if you are using good lock and that one is just called uh, locking the application so again tapping on the icon this is where you can either uh, unlock the application just by again tapping on that icon going to unlock um, or if you are actually using the regular stock you know recent applications for Samsung all you'd have to do is just go inside of your recent applications anything that is locked is going to be on the bottom so you can see that that one is locked uh, then what you want to do is just tap on that little lock and it's going to be unlocked so this way now you just cleared your entire RAM and, and there's basically nothing running uh, in the side ground or background of this phone but I hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.